I will show you on how to navigate records using record set methods. Okay, now let's get started. First, we will go to create, then form design. I will save this is navigate records. Then I will go design. Then I will add text box. So this is product ID. We make it stack. Then next I will copy because we need two text box then arrange then I will take it this one I will rename this description and here txt sorry suppose here txt product ID and here txt description so next we need to add buttons record navigation first is this one first next then finish we'll remove this one then we'll rename as cmd first next we'll go to design then navigation then next is previous this one finish size short test then here we will rename cmd previous then we will add another button then here we'll rename cmd next then the last here last next then finish then we'll rename cmd last so we will resize size is tallest then widest and now we'll go to arrange then here space equal horizontal look then now we will put a code in order to navigate our records from our inventory table first we'll go to onload event I will declare here dim r is as dow that records it then we'll put some subroutine here sub display data 
then so this function will display our data into our text box here so txt equal row source item 0 because this is id then that value then next this one description txt this description plus record set then so since this is description here is 0 1 and 2 so we'll put record set to 2 0 1 2 column so column 0 column 1 and column 2 so since this is description so we will put here 2 then that value okay now we will call this data to display into our onload event so we will use a current database to open our record set object okay so we will put here set r is this one our record set then equal current db dot open record set then open parenthesis now the name so we'll put our table which is inventory then double quote then comma now the type is db open dynasty so this is the one then we will call this function here to display the data look if we will whatever the first it will show here if we will load the form look so now we cannot yet navigate we'll remove this i think there is some here macro okay we'll save then now we will put code into our navigation button first here this is cmd first on click event here so this one will move to the first record so we will use our record source record sit rather r is that move first then we'll use this display data here then next we'll go to cmd previews here
then will so this button will move back to the previous record so now we will put some error trapping f error then go to we'll put here aa then here aa then resume next then insert now we'll put f function if not r is that b o f then r is that move this one previous then again we'll copy this display data here then this one is a face in case of error then we'll put here and f to close our f statement then next this one cmd next we'll put here i will just copy this one then here cmd next so this one will move to the next record obviously then here end of file then instead of move previous since this is button for the next so we'll just only replace with next then the same display data okay then the last button here cmd last here so we'll just only copy this one simply first here then we will replace to last so this button is to move our selection to last record okay now we will try load of course this is the last then this is the next cmd next sorry I mistakenly rename our button. Correct. In here, here. Okay. I think everything is fine. Next, 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 last, first, next, 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 next. Previous, 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 last, first. So this is it. This is how to navigate records using record set methods. Thank you and God bless.